YouTube, what is going on? Back with another video, back with another installment of Wishlist Wednesdays. This one's a really special one for me, for you guys. Um, I actually have two pops today to show you and uh, got a couple more channel updates I wanted to go through as well. So stay tuned, let's get right into it. All right guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content and hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So before we get into the pops for today's Wishlist Wednesday segment, just wanna go over a few things. Today is actually my one year anniversary of posting on YouTube. So it's been a wild uh, 365 days. Um, I got in a whole lot more subscribers, a whole lot of views, a whole lot of support, and made a whole lot of friends. And it's really kind of crazy when I first started making YouTube, if you wanna go back and watch that first video, I've come a long way as far as video quality and also uh, my Funko Pop collection has gotten a whole lot bigger as well. But I never really thought that I'd make so many friends within the Funko Pop community. It really is a, a different kind of community. Um, it's all love, you know. There's a little bit of drama here and there that I'm not involved in, uh, but everyone that I've ever talked to and interacted with has been extremely genuine, extremely nice, extremely cool. And I have made friends that I talk to on a regular basis, some every day. So it's kind of really crazy that uh, YouTube has bought a whole nother level of friendship into my life. And for that, I really do appreciate guys. You really do uh, mean a lot to me. And that's why I keep making videos is because of the support you guys give. And uh, it really is a community. And that's what I like so much about it. So uh, I do want to give do another giveaway. Uh, with that being said, getting back to you guys, uh, once I hit 4,000 subscribers, which is extremely amazing that in almost a year or in a year I've almost hit 4,000 subscribers um, so fast making a Funko Pop channel. Um, I remember when I first had the idea, Ariel, who's right over there, told me that you know you might want to do a YouTube video uh, about all the Funko Pops you like and I was like no, that's kind of crazy that's a weird idea um, but I started it and it's grown into what you guys know today so I um, want to get back once we hit that 4,000 which we're not too far away I want to give a pop that you guys have mentioned several times in my videos um, that you wanted. Um, it was Red Hood from San Diego Comic Con. So I know a lot of people have mentioned, and this has probably been my most requested pop in comments and uh, DMs and uh, the like that people were looking for. So I decided to give this one away back to you guys because um, no, I know it's one of the majority of people that have hit me up have wanted. Um, so Red Hood is going to be given away at 4,000 subscribers. Um, the way you can win this it's just through the what I always do the random comment picker on this video if you just drop 4k on there you'll be automatically entered to win this Funko Pop um, the winner will get this one shipped out to them as long as it's domestic it'll be shipped out to you for free if you're international we'll work something out um, but this is my way of giving back to you guys for my one year on YouTube and also for hitting 4,000 subscribers um, I really really do appreciate all that you guys do and hopefully this goes to a happy home and somebody really likes this pop um, it is a really cool one so um, I will be giving Red Hood away at 4,000 subscribers and we'll announce the winner in a video once we hit that mark so with that being said um, I do have two Funko Pops uh, for this wishlist Wednesday's video uh, the first one they actually are together um, I was gonna make two different videos but they're pretty much the same uh, show so this one I grabbed uh, because the actor who plays this character actually passed away last week. So I just remembered that I didn't have um, this Funko Pop in my collection. I do have the other character he played, but not this iconic one right there. Uh, you guys probably already know what it is if you are a fan of the show as well. We all grew up with the show. That's Sesame Street and this Big Bird. Um, so this Big Bird, um, I, it's a six inch pop. I don't know why I haven't got this one yet. I do like the Sesame Street Pops. Um, as a kid, that's what I watched. I remember my little brother, uh, I think he watched Barney, and I used to hate Barney. Uh, it'd be cool if they made a Barney um, a Funko Pop. I would buy that just because I saw it so many times. Uh, but Sesame Street is what we I grew up with as a kid. Uh, Big Bird wasn't ex my favorite character. Um, I always loved Oscar, who Carol Spani also played as well. Oscar kept it real. 
Oscar told you how it was. He lived in the trash can. He saw life from a different perspective than everyone else on Sesame Street. Um, but Big Bird is obviously the most iconic character from the show. When you think of Sesame Street, you think of Big Bird. Maybe you think of Elmo nowadays. Um, but yeah, this uh, Big Bird is really dope. It's a six inch pop. There is a flocked one for this as well. Um, I don't have that one. We'll have to grab it eventually. Um, I don't think it's too much more money than this one, but this one I got an incredibly good deal on, so couldn't pass up on it. Um, but this one is really, really cool. I probably will keep this one out of the box just because those six inch boxes, they do take up a whole lot of space. Um, they're not anything like the 10 inch ones, but they still do take up a whole lot of space in those uh, cases back there. Um, but this pop is extremely, extremely dope, extremely detailed, and uh, it's just an iconic character. I think I ended up paying, um, I don't know, like 15 bucks for this or 10 bucks. I don't remember. It was something under $20. And it's so crazy to me how the Sesame Street pops um, are not that expensive, and uh, we all know them. I'm surprised that no pe more people haven't picked these ones up. Um, I do believe this is vaulted and I don't, I've never seen it in stores. Um, that's pretty much the reason why I have never gotten it. If I've seen these in stores, I'd have picked it up right away. Um, but this Big Bird, um, just had to have in the collection, especially with Carol Spani passing away uh, last week. It kind of reminded me that it didn't have any, or didn't have as many Sesame Street Pops as I like. And uh, definitely want to complete the set and get more Sesame Street Pops in my collection. Uh, like I said, I have an Oscar. I don't have the orange Oscar. Um, but I do have a lot of these on the back right there. Um, I think I probably have about half. There's another half I have to get. That count is definitely one I want to add to my collection at some point, as well as a uh, Super Grover. Uh, Super Grover is really dope to me as well. But this uh, Big Bird, extremely, extremely nice. And I uh, thought it would be a little nice tribute to uh, get something like this, especially with uh, Carol Sparney passing away. But there you go. That's the first pop is Big Bird from Sesame Street. And uh, the second pop, like I said, it's from the same show. Um, this pop I was been looking for for a good deal for a really long time on eBay or to trade or something, and haven't really found it. Um, you guys can't really tell, but from my from my videos, but I'm extremely extremely cheap. Um, me buying mystery boxes just seems a little bit different than me buying a pop outright. I know it's the same monetary. Uh, cost, you know, just to buy one pop or buy one mystery box. Um, but mentally, putting out a lot of money for pops, just I can't do it for one pop. Um, but this pop, I've been looking for it for a good deal for a long time. It's come down a little bit in value. I know when I first started looking for it, it was like 45, 50 bucks, which I wasn't going to pay for. But I finally found this one. I thought it was my one year anniversary. I was going to pull the trigger on something I wanted anyways. But this has been at the top of my list for a very, very long time. Um, and extremely, extremely happy to finally have it in my collection. And that's the Flock Cookie Monster from New York City Comic Con. So this pop right here, um, Cookie Monster is the funniest character on Sesame Street to me. Um, Oscar kept it real, but Cookie Monster was hilarious to me. Um, he basically was a crack at it. <laughs> <laughs> cookie at cookie addict. I mean, he uh, he couldn't resist cookies. No matter what, he always said he wouldn't try to get the cookies. They'd be right there, tempting him, and he'd give in every single time. Cookie Monster could not resist cookies. Um, I know at one point they try to make him into the vegetable monster. I don't know if he still is the vegetable monster or he just doesn't eat cookies as much. Um, but I'm not here for that. I'm here for Cookie Monster destroying cookies at any single point he can. Um, and he's still funny today. Like I went back and watched some old uh, Sesame Street um, clips and Cookie Monster ones still are pretty funny to me. Um, I watched some other clips, the Yip Yips. They made those into pops. I'd, be, I'd buy them, but I was afraid of those things as a kid. I don't know why. My parents watched this. They're probably laughing right now. But I was terrified of the Yip Yips. I think when I was a kid, I had a dream that they kidnapped me. And that's why I was afraid of them. <laughs> but nonetheless, Cookie Monster flocked was a must-have for me. The flocked on this one looks amazing. Feels amazing. Feels like it's the real Cookie Monster in my hand right now. Um, but yeah, this one is extremely, extremely dope. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, a lot of people always ask me or comment, like, why do you like this or why do you like that? You're not in the Star Wars. You're not in the Marvel. Like, how could you not be in the Marvel or Star Wars? I like all those things. I like Marvel. I like Star Wars. I like a little bit of everything. Um, the point of this uh, whole segment is to show you guys what I really like and what I really remember. 
and a lot of the pops back there, like I always said, is nostalgic things. Um, you know, the Black Panther I like, but it just came out last year. You know, I like remembering or I like buying things that remind me of childhood and then things of certain points in my life. And uh, Cookie Monster definitely is that. Cookie Monster, uh, something, somebody we all grew up with, somebody we all grew up with. And uh, yeah, he just uh, so dope as far as a Funko Pop as well. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get the um, a regular Cookie Monster because this flocked one is just so, so dope. And uh, this will be kept in this box in a protector in a safe place for years to come. Um, this is one of my favorite pops in my collection. Uh, it's Cookie Monster Flock. It's today's Wishless Wednesday Grail right there. So, drop down in the comment section below what you think of these two pops. If you're interested in winning that Red Hood, drop down 4K down in the comment section down below so you can be entered to win that pop right there. And just again, thank you so much for your support, guys. It's been a crazy year for me. Um, hopefully, the next year is even better. More things to come. I'm not going anywhere. A lot of people have asked me about uh, Coppa, Copa, whatever it is. I don't make videos for kids, so it doesn't really apply to me. So that's the quick and short answer to that. I'm not worried about that at all um, because I don't make videos for kids. I may unbox kid things from time to time, but like I said, Cookie Monster was a crack addict. That's an adult issue. <laughs> That's a serious issue that we need to address. It's not a kid thing at all. So, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for the support. 4K down in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.